Time now for Sid 6 0. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk with my mouth. Canada will be hosting World Cup games when FIFA brings the biggest sporting event in the world to North America in 2026. Here's the problem. BMO only seats 27,000. According to FIFA guidelines, you need 45,000 to host games. Changes need to be made. Here's a look at BMO right now. Tiered seating, east and west sides. You can see the gardener on the north side. And this is the view looking onto Lake Ontario. I love this view. After the renovations are done, that view of Lake Ontario will be gone. A huge second tier goes up on the south side. Same as the north, view of the gardener will disappear as well. This, of course, will be part of Toronto's $100 million investment in that World Cup that will be co-hosted by not just Canada, but the United States and Mexico as well. The cost of doing business with FIFA is steep. No doubt about it, but this is the path that Mayor Tory has chosen. And as a soccer fan, selfishly, I am 100% fine with it. BMO's going to look great. Andy Petrillo from One Soccer and CBC Sports has been kind enough to join us. Andy, I'm just, I, I know I'm talking specifically about BMO here, but I'm, I'm just still giddy we're talking about a World Cup. I haven't gotten used to this yet. No, it, it's absolutely crazy. I can't believe a World Cup is coming to Canada either. And it, was, it became real for me when they made the announcement on Thursday that Vancouver and Toronto were getting it. And then, you know, the wheels were in motion. We know what you were just talking about. Those renovations will start in 2024. We've seen BMO Field go through renovations before when Tim Lewicki was in charge in 2016. He even said then, Sid, he goes, in about 10 years, this will be outdated just with the way arenas and stadiums were moving. Um, so without the, without the help of Larry Tannenbaum, this wouldn't be possible. So I'm pretty excited to see how this will uh, turn out. Andy, there is the feeling, you know, there's a lot to talk about in terms of the bid. A lot of people have, have opinions about Edmonton being shut out. There are some logistical political reasons for that. I understand it. I'm a little disappointed. But uh, with, with the word that Vancouver is going to get six games here, Toronto may be four, and we know the Victor Montagliani, Canadian, the president of CONCACAF, he's a Vancouver guy. Uh, does, does that disappoint you at all? Do, would you like a split down the middle? I would have preferred it, but say Levy, I guess, mm -hmm. right? I would love a split down the middle. Um, and, and to be honest with you, I mean, who knows the powers that be, the conversations that go on there. I think a lot of it has more to do with logistics and travel. This is the first time ever, as you mentioned, three countries are hosting. I can't imagine that the players are too happy about bouncing around. So I'm sure the promise was there that you will not travel too much. You will not be too much at a disadvantage. Great point. Uh, and, and I think a lot of stuff will probably stay in that type of, of, of time zone as well. So I think it has more to do with that than it has to do with favoritism, right? I mean, come on. It's not like FIVA favors anybody. No, no, they never. <laughs> they never do. Um, <laughs> before we let you go, Andy, also, you, you love hockey. You know it like the back of your hand here. Austin Matthews, a massive night at the NHL. The very awkward NHL awards last night in Tampa. Is he, like, can we talk greatest leaf of all time just based on last night? Was it that kind of an evening? I, he's up there in the conversation for me anyway, but I know in the world of sports, we always cement it. There's that cement that we always talk about that you can buy in aisle three at Canadian Tire. <laughs> but I feel like a player, an athlete, their, their legacy is always cemented when they get it done in the playoffs. But I think we would be absolutely foolish, Sid, if we're not talking about Austin Matthews being one of the greatest leaps of all time. But again, right, like what do the playoffs do to you? Dougie Gilmore, Wendell Clark, they're considered some of the best because of how they made this city feel with their performances in the playoffs, right? I mean, so that's why I feel like there's that one extra step that just needs to be taken. But again, crazy if you're not having that conversation already with Austin Matthews. I 100% agree with you. Annie Petrillo, CBC Sports, One Soccer. She's great. Andy, appreciate you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, you too.